guys, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you're paying attention right now because this is probably going to be my fastest video yet that I've ever made. So today I am going over the 10 rights to medication administration. Number one, do you even have the right patient? Make sure you have the correct patient and you are checking it against the MAR and make sure you are checking it against the patient's name band and also please ask them their name and birthday. I know this is something that's so just we do it all the time, but please ask them their name and birthday. Which leads us to number two, do you have the right medication? So of course you need to have the right medication. So make sure when you are pulling it out of the OmniCell or the Pixis system or wherever you're pulling it out of, you have the right medication. You are showing it against the MAR and you're also looking at the OmniCell. Is this the medication that should be pulled out of that bin or the Pixis system? Next, which goes with the right medication, is it the right dosage? Make sure you know your dosages as a nurse, whether that's too much, what would be too little, what would be an appropriate amount of medication for this patient, which leads me in to the next right. Number four, is it the right route? Is it oral? Is it ear, eye, G-tube, intramuscular, sub-Q? What is the route of this medication? And make sure on your screen, on your MAR, on your paper, whatever you're charting on, it says the route that it should be administered. You cannot give an oral medication in the G-tube if it says oral medication. You, but what if the patient's MPO? So make sure you're finding those discrepancies and figuring them out before you give the medication. Next leads me to, is it the right time? Is this a medication that needs to be given every 12 hours? Did the last person give it too late? So now you have to push yours back by an hour. So make sure your medication is the right time. So now you figured all of that out. Now, does the patient even want this medication? Every patient has the right to refuse. Yes, you cannot force somebody to take a medication if they do not want it. So give that patient the education, which is another right, the right to educate, to be educated on this medication. So you've educated, do they want it or do they not want it? So there you go, there's two more medication rights, the right to refuse and the right to have the education about the medication. And number nine would be the right of evaluation. So you need to evaluate as the nurse, as someone who's depending on you to know, is this going to cause a bad drug drug interaction? Is this going to cause a problem with the food that they're eating for breakfast? Does this bed need to be given 30 minutes before breakfast in order to be absorbed correctly in this patient's body system? So you need to evaluate as well. And now at number 10, your last medication administration right would be the right to document because we all know if you didn't document, you didn't do it, right? We've all heard that a thousand times. So make sure you document whether the patient refused or whether the patient took the medication. And that is your last medication right. So there you go, guys. There are your 10 medication administration rights. And I hope you learned something from this video. Make sure you know this for every single patient that you are ever giving medications to because all your patients have all of these 10 rights. I will see you in next Tuesday's video. Do not forget these rights here. Make sure to comment below, make sure to like, make sure to share this video and also subscribe to my channel as well, guys. I cannot do this without your support. And that's it. I will see you in next Tuesday's video.